Ballet School with six, six tyres and two advanced tyres, which is SCQF level six and seven. So I studied at Clydebank High School from the years 2006 to 2012, and I left in 2012 with six hires and two advanced hires. Um, and then I progressed on to university where I studied anatomy at the University of Glasgow. And now I am a second year medical student at the University of Glasgow. So the school supported me massively. Uh, one of the things I made use of the career service at the school where the careers advisor and I worked together to find out what course I wanted to study. So what course excited me, what each course offered, um, where was the best university to study the course. And with the help of the career service, I decided that I wanted to go to university and study a course in human-based biology. My pastoral care teacher helped me massively when it came to choosing subjects at a higher level in anticipation for applying to university. And the, my pastoral care teacher and other teachers in the school really supported me in sort of refining my personal statement to make sure my personal statement was as good as can be for applying to university. Um, to sort of make my application stand out, the school helped me in setting up voluntary work within the local community where I worked in a local care home, um, helping at meal times, and this helped me sort of clarify that I did know that I wanted to work in health, whether it be in a sort of research lab or whether it be hands-on working in medicine. Uh, the school also supported me in setting up work experience within hospital where I like, finally decided that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to work within health. So I left I left. Clydebank High, went to university first for four years before I ended up to get to where I wanted to be, um, now a medical student at University of Glasgow. Mm -hmm. Last bit of wisdom that I think of applying to medicine is just having a, like, a really strong work ethic and I think that's the most important thing. Um, nowadays, like, so it's a, the most rewarding career, you have a chance to specialise in different things, tailor your path into what interests you. However, it does take a lot of work to get there and I think you have to be committed and it's just about having that work ethic and keeping going and knowing that there is a, a reward at the end and the reward is amazing. When I left school, I started an apprenticeship with a civil engineering design consultant. Um, part of that apprenticeship was studying day release at college um, as well as working in an office environment in the industry. Currently, uh, I've actually started university uh, as a direct entrant in the second year um, of the civil engineering course at Strathclyde University, as well as still continue to work one day a week during term time and also um, working full time over my summers. So I've, I've started a university degree and I'm still continuing to work as well. Um, I left school with my hires, so that was on level six. Um, the apprenticeship that I, that I was doing uh, took me up to level eight. Um, and now I'm aiming to get to level 10 through my uh, degree. If I was back at the stage where I was leaving school, um, I'd just have more belief um, that the path I was choosing was going to be the right one. Um, you don't have to make the decision about going to university straight away, straight when you leave school. That can be a decision that you come back to and revisit a couple of years down the line. It's not something that happens at the end of sixth year and then you roll straight to university. You can be at level six and you can use other, other pathways to progress yourself to the stage that you then get to level eight and level ten at university. It doesn't have to happen straight after school. I, f I feel like when I left school, I wish I had the same framework um, if I had looked at that same table um, when I was making my decisions in the fifth year, I would have seen straight away that this was the route for me. I think um, that's possibly why I was lacking in confidence with my route when I left school, um, because I wasn't sure of the kind of the final end goal. But you can you can see from looking at the table, if you're at level six, you can progress to level eight through an apprenticeship, and you that can then progress on to level ten, if you so choose. It might be that you reach level eight and you're quite happy and you can then you can then kind of build your career from there. Um, but when I got to level eight, I then decided that uh, university was right for me and I would, I'm ready to progress on to level 10. My ambitions are to go to a conservatoire to study piano, working towards a level seven in my masters. 
Within school I'm head girl and I'm also on many committees to help make our school a better place but also out with school I go to a Saturday school and I am in many orchestras to help me get to my destination of getting into a conservatoire. To me it's important to be an SCQF ambassador because it can show other pupils different pathways that they can take as well. Okay. I'm currently working at level 7 on the SCQF framework. Uh, I want to study music at uh, at college, then further my education at university. Uh, the school has given me lots of support in my personal statement and top-up programme. I'm currently working towards level 7 on the SCQF framework. My ambitions uh, it's to study biomedical engineering, possibly at University of Strathclyde or University of Glasgow, as a master's degree, so that'll be level 11 on the SCQF framework. Continue working on my level 7 uh, grades, so advanced to our maths and physics, because they'll give me the best opportunity in biomedical engineering for when I study at university. The school's given me a lot of moral as well as academic support, and I believe that they're crucial to succeeding in exams and study. I did it. I did it. We are doing, doing it, so can you. So can you. So can you.